Hey guys, what's up? It's Steve. So today we're going to be taking a look at the capacity of the Rectec RT 1250 pellet grill that recently came out. So I'm just going to throw a ton of butts, uh, some ribs on there. I'm going to show you how much this grill can hold. And if you want to check out some of the uh, features of it, I did kind of a first look, walked over all the features in a different video. You can look at that above right now, or I'll have a link in the video description. So let's go ahead and get started. So here we are, we have six massive butts. These are in the eight to 10 pound range. One of them is closer to 12 pounds. So we are close to 55, 60 pounds. I've got uh, several different rubs that I'm using tonight just so we can have some different flavor profiles. Let's go ahead and get these guys on the RT1250. All right, so here we go. You guys get to see me load this thing up for the very first time. I've got the 1250 preheated to 225. You'll notice here I have the top rack taken out. It's just gonna give me, uh, you know, some room to get these butts on here. And then also, you know, as you guys know, these, these butts are gonna drop some weight while they cook. And so it's just gonna be easier tomorrow morning for me to slide that top rack in once I'm ready to start getting the ribs on. So here we go. This one a little bit. I mean, we got all kinds of room. This is ridiculous. Definitely not worried about all this meat on here. Woo! Oh my goodness. Turn that one that way. All right, we're gonna go ahead and use the two meat probes. Doesn't really matter, but I'm just gonna stick one. In this back one down here. And then I'll just stick one in this one right here. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get the lid shut. I'm gonna get these probes plugged in. And guys, this is gonna go all night long, just rolling at 225. I like to do 225 in the early stages of the cook so it can absorb as much smoke as possible. And then tomorrow I might kick the temps up if I need to get the cook going a little bit quicker. So we will pick back up in the morning and see how these guys are doing. All right, good morning, guys. We are at the 15 hour mark. I, I kept the 1250 ride in at 225 all night. And I just checked these a few minutes ago. Look at these gorgeous butts. So I'm using my trusty Thermapin here. That I've always got on me. And all of these are right around the kind of 150 to 160 range. So they're definitely stalled out right now. Um, so what I'm gonna do at this point is crank the 1250 up to uh, 250 degrees. And these are gonna go at least another three or four hours so we'll pick back up in a bit all right so our butts are still cruising here a couple of them are uh, just about done but at this point i need to go ahead and get our ribs on so we're going to go ahead and slide our top rack in oh yeah fits perfectly over those butts i wanted to just show you guys uh you know, as far as ribs, how much we're going to be able to get on this top rack. So what I've done is I've got three massive racks of baby backs here. That one, we're going to slide back like that. This one's going to sit right here. And then I cut this third one in half. Slide that just like that. So on that top rack, each one of these racks of ribs was about three and a half pounds. So huge baby backs here. So we're gonna go ahead and shut the lid. Uh, as these butts finish up, I'm gonna go ahead and pull those, foil them, get them in a cooler. We'll check one of those out in the kitchen later. And then we'll pick back up a little bit later as, uh, as we come back and check on the ribs. All right guys, it has been another five hours. All of the butts have been pulled at this point. 
you can see how gorgeous these ribs are looking. This is the little kind of second rack tool that comes with the 1250. So we can just kind of pull that out a little bit like that. We're gonna go ahead and get these sauced up. I did a toothpick test about 10, 15 minutes ago and these are pretty much done. So we're just gonna hit these about 30 minutes with this sauce. I'm loving this second rack. Great new addition to this 1250. And we are just going to get this lid shut. Oh my gosh, this just looks so amazing. We're gonna push this back in, just like that. And we're gonna let those go probably another 30, 45 minutes. We're gonna pick back up real quick just to wrap this video up in the kitchen to check out one of these butts and we'll take a look at uh, one of these racks of ribs. All right, we're gonna go ahead and pull one of these butts. These guys have been resting for about an hour and a half. I normally like to let these guys go about an hour and a half, two hours. And I mean, look at this thing. It's already just, I, I didn't even really have to do anything. It's just completely falling apart. Bone comes straight out. I like to use these uh, PVC gloves. I mean, guys, look at that. Amazing. I'm definitely super addicted to these Rectech grills. They just do such a consistent job of cooking up these Boston butts. We're gonna check out a rack of these ribs now. All right, I went ahead and sliced up one of these racks of ribs. Look at how amazing this looks. Super, super juicy and tender, nice little smoke ring. I'm gonna go ahead and have some of my favorite taste testers let us know how the pulled pork and the ribs are. Favorite taste testers in the world. All right, girls, tell us what you're gonna try out tonight. Okay, I'm trying the pulled pork and right. I'm trying the baby back ribs. All right, tell me what you think. It's really good and tender and juicy and it just falls off the bone. It's really good. The pulled pork's really good. It tastes like smoky. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Tell everyone thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon. Thanks, thanks for watching. All right, so that's gonna wrap up this video. I hope that gave you a pretty decent look at how much food you can pack onto this new RT1250. If you have any questions, definitely let me know in the comments. I'll, I'll try my best to answer them. Appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you again soon.